Joining us now, we have two guests. We have Dr. George Maliaris and Dr. John Balk. Thanks for joining us, both of you. Thank you. Pleasure. You are both 2015 MRS fall meeting chairs, and we're now at about the midweek of this 2015 fall mm -hmm. meeting for MRS. So let's talk a little bit about a summary of the experience. What are your thoughts as we approach the end of what's been a long process for you both? And John, I'll start with you. Well, we're coming up to the midpoint of a large meeting. This is about as big as the MRS fall meeting has been. It's been great, great turnout, lots of good symposia. And we had an excellent speaker, a plenary speaker on Monday evening, Chad Merkin from Northwestern University, talked about materials chemistry, but really tied it in nicely to fundamental aspects of materials science and engineering. It was a great fit for the meeting. Uh, George, how about you? What are your thoughts on the meeting thus far? It's been going really well. I think uh, we've been hearing lots of good comments from the attendees. They seem to be happy with the symposia layout, with the award talks. I would like to highlight that we have had enormous help from the MRS staff. They've been absolute champions in putting this uh, meeting together. Um, scientifically, the highlights for me have been uh, both the plenary talk and the symposia uh, Symposium X talks, as well as the award talks that we had uh, 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 yesterday, and I look forward to today's uh, Von Hippel Award uh, yeah, talk. Yeah, there, there's plenty more to go. John, yeah. would you agree with that? What are the highlights been for you? Absolutely. Uh, many of the talks, especially the special talks, those, those have been nice above and beyond contributions to the meeting. Now, I know you're both busy in your normal life as researchers mm -hmm. and scientists, but why did you decide to volunteer to be a meeting chair. George, we'll start with you. Well, as an academic, you have to teach, you have to do research, and you have to spend part of your time doing what is called service to the community. So that goes under the umbrella of service. And I personally like having one big thing as opposed to 200 small things that can nibble on your time and uh, make a, a, a smaller impact. So um, this is an opportunity for me to help shape the program of a major uh, meeting, uh, the primary meeting in my field, um, and hopefully leave my signature on it. Well, John, as George said, this is one big thing. Yes. What was your reason for taking on such a big project? Well, I wanted to be involved in this meeting. I really like the fall meeting a lot. Um, it's my primary meeting. I've been coming here for not every year, but almost 20 years. and. Uh, I really like contributing to the Materials Research Society, and this was a great opportunity, as George said, to help help guide the, the programming and where this meeting is going. Now, looking back on your experience thus far, what mm -hmm. advice would you give to someone who's maybe thinking about becoming a future meeting chair? Do it. It's a good <laughs> job. <laughs> Have fun. Um, there are times when it's a lot of work. I get that question a lot. Was Do you regret doing it? Absolutely not. Um, I actually don't look back and think of the hard work. I just had a great time doing it, working with the other meeting chairs and the MRS staff. It's, it's a great experience. And George, quickly, your final advice? I echo that, 100% do it. It's a wonderful opportunity to, uh, to guide the meeting, to contribute to materials research, and to have a lot of fun working with the MRS staff and the fellow chairs of the meeting. George, John, thank you for joining us. Get out there and continue having fun at this meeting. Thank a you. pleasure, thank you. Thank you.